Coastal Carolina is off to a historical start this season. A team that only joined the FBS a few years ago is now leading the Sunbelt East and is projected to play Louisiana in a rematch in the Sunbelt Conference Championship game. They are led by a former two-star recruit and redshirt freshman, Grayson McCall. McCall has played extremely well for the Chanticleers and has been a true leader. But who is Grayson McCall? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up and coming collegiate and pro athletes. If you enjoy these videos, leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If there's a player you want to see in future videos, comment it below. Grayson McCall grew up in Indian Trail, North Carolina. When he was little, while most kids watched Barney or other children's shows, Grayson watched the NFL channel where they played old football games on repeat. McCall was fearless from a young age. He played outdoor games with his older brother, who was 10 years older than him, and all the older kids in his neighborhood. As a kid, McCall played football, basketball, and baseball. McCall actually played for a Travel Little League All-Star team at the age of 12 that played in a televised tournament in Cooperstown, New York. Although he played well in baseball, football was his first love, and when it was football season, everything was about football. McCall always dreamed about playing college football and going to the NFL. McCall gave up baseball in middle school, but continued to play basketball through high school playing the position of small forward. Grayson McCall attended Porter Ridge High School and started his freshman season on the varsity team. He was the first freshman to play on the varsity team according to his mother. Unfortunately, McCall would suffer an injury and after it, started dressing for JV and varsity. During his freshman year, Porter Ridge went 1-10. McCall took the starting quarterback job over his sophomore year and the team never looked back. Porter Ridge ran a spread triple option shotgun offense, which McCall picked up quickly. Just because McCall ran a triple option in high school does not mean he could not throw the ball. He actually had a pretty good arm in high school. Grayson demonstrated by example. His former head coach told Myrtle Beach Online he was always early in practice, film study, positive on the sideline, encouraged his teammates, encouraged the defense when he wasn't even out there, and just a lot of leading by example and doing the right thing that a quarterback should do when leading his team. He continued by saying he really just loves playing under the lights, and I just love that aspect from my quarterback. He also said the guys would rally around him even when he was young. I said this kid's got it all, and if we could help him put it all together, we're going to be pretty special, and he's going to be pretty special. When McCall took over at quarterback, Porter Ridge was coming off three consecutive losing seasons. McCall led the team to a 7-5 record and a berth in the Class 4A playoffs, the second largest classification in North Carolina. During his junior year, he threw for 1,414 yards and 13 touchdowns while also rushing for 907 yards and 12 touchdowns. He led his team to 8 wins in the second round of the playoffs where they lost to eventual state champions Harding University as a junior. McCall was named the Southwest 4A Conference Player of the Year and built on his success going into his senior year. During his senior year, McCall led Porter Ridge to a 10-5 overall record and a spot in the 2018 4A state championship semifinal game where they lost to eventual champion East Forsyth. He finished the season throwing for 1,337 yards and 9 touchdowns, while rushing for 1,460 yards and 21 scores on the ground. He was named to the Southwestern 4A first team and all UCHSF first team. McCall was measured to be 6'3 and 200 pounds coming out of high school. According to both 24-7 sports and rivals, he was a two-star recruit who was the 66th ranked dual-threat quarterback in the class, 111th best player in North Carolina, and 2,889th player nationally. North Carolina and Wake Forest showed interest in McCall, but never offered him. McCall received offers from Coastal Carolina and Army at the FBS level in Eastern Kentucky, Tennessee Chattanooga, and Gardner-Webb from the FCS level. All the schools either still run or ran a form of the option offense at one point. Jamie Chadwell was running a spread option offense at Coastal Carolina and knew Grayson McCall was a perfect fit for it. McCall officially committed to Coastal Carolina on December 19, 2018 and later signed with the Chanticleers. As a true freshman, McCall only played in two non-conference games where he went 4 for 4 for 25 yards and a touchdown along with 11 yards on the ground and 3 for 3 for 30 yards and a touchdown. The Chanticleers had a quarterback battle going into the season between Grayson, Fred Payton, and Bryce Carpenter. Carpenter and Peyton entered camp as favorites due to both starting in eight games over the two previous seasons. Grayson McCall's chances were not improved when he needed to quarantine for three weeks in July due to contact tracing. 
But a door opened for McCall when Peyton had to miss a few weeks with a sore Achilles tendon, and McCall took advantage of it. McCall was named the starter for the season opener and played well, accounting for more than 200 yards of offense and all five of Coastal Carolina's touchdowns in a 38-23 win over Kansas. McCall's only two turnovers came against Arkansas State, but he helped bring the team back from 7-0 and 14-7 to win 52-23 while throwing for 322 yards and four touchdowns through the air and 44 yards on the ground. McCall helped lead Coastal Carolina to their first win over Appalachian State ever, throwing for 200 yards and two touchdowns along with 69 yards and one touchdown on the ground. Currently, McCall is thrown for 1,772 yards, 21 touchdowns, and one interception, and Coastal Carolina is sitting at 9-0 on the season. Coastal Carolina has been a fun team to watch this season, especially when you remember they were projected to finish last in the Sun Belt East before the start of the season. Their next game is on Saturday against 9-1 Liberty. If you like this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and remember to embrace the grind.